Hello everyone, it's Rich Hines here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to combine cutouts and lettering to produce a nice alphabet animal poster. It's a simple and effective way to produce something visually interesting that can be repeated for any animal with any letter. Plus you'll be learning some valuable skills that you can apply to other elements of your work. We'll start by cutting out our animal, then use a combination of layers and masks and shadows to create added depth and added realism. First, let's open up Adobe Photoshop and create a new document, A4 paper size. Then we're gonna select the type tool, select any color you wish and type S. Set the size to 662, fit the bounding box to the size of the text and select the type tool and the background layer and then use the alignment tools at the top of the screen to center on the page. Now let's drag in the photo of the seal we're going to use. Locate the photo, drag it into Photoshop. It will automatically open up a new document. Right click on the background and select layer from background. Name it as seal. A quicker way to do this is to double click on the background and it will automatically convert into a layer. We're now going to cut out the seal and remove the background. Select the magic wand tool, set the tolerance to 10 and then click on the background. As you can see, it hasn't selected all of the background. So we need to add the selection manually. Select the quick selection tool and set the brush size to five. Make sure the add to selection tool is selected. This is the one with the brush and the plus sign, not the minus, as you can see at the top of the screen. Click and drag over the areas you want to add to the selection. Your selection may creep into the seal. If this is the case, change to the minus selection and drag over the areas of the seal that you want to minus from the selection. You might need to play with the brush size on this just to get that perfect selection around the edge of the seal. You should now have a nice line of marching ants around the outside of your seal. We now want to refine the selection so that the layer mask doesn't look all jagged and rough. Go to the top, select, inverse, then select again and refine edge. If it doesn't automatically present as black and white, click on the little image and change it. It will be easier for you to see the change this way. We want to smooth out the selection so it looks more realistic. Set the smooth to 60. Make sure preview is checked on. This way you can see the change being made. Click OK. Select the layer mask icon below the layers panel. This will hide the background from the selection we made. Click on the move icon and click and drag your seal into your other document. It will appear as, as rather large. Now we just want to scale it down and position it so that the seal sits partly on and partly off of the S. This will allow us to create the effect that you saw at the beginning. Drag the type layer above the seal and set the opacity to 50%. Command click on the T of the type layer to make a selection. Go to the top, select and inverse. We now want to remove the areas that are outside the bounds of the S. Select the mask of the seal, the right hand part of the layer. Select your brush tool at 100% opacity with a black fill and a hard brush. Begin to remove the unwanted excess. We're not actually removing it, we're just adding to the layer mask. It's just hiding it. Let's create the gradient background. Select new layer and then the gradient tool. Select the left hand color and set it to hex a9 a a b8 and then the right hand color to f2 f2 f5 click and drag from the top left hand edge of the page to the bottom right drag the gradient layer below the seal layer we now want to move remove the excess gradient around the s command click on the t of the type layer so that the s is selected and you can see the marching ants then select the gradient layer and make a layer mask. This will remove all of the excess gradient from around the S. Now we just have to hide the type layer. As you can see, we've already got a really good result and it's nearly there. We just want to add some added depth and some added shadow to, to just increase the realism of this image. So let's create a new layer and move it above the seal layer, name it shadow. Select the soft brush tool at 15% opacity. Select the color picker tool and click on a dark area of the seal. Select multiply from the blending mode, which is just above the layers. This will just add another sense of realism to the shadow. Command click on the S mask. 
This will ensure that the shadow you brush down will remain within the bounds of the S. Start to brush on the shadow. Adjust the opacity for different areas, keeping it lighter on the areas outside of the seal and darker on the areas within the seal. Be careful not to brush over the tip of the seal's head as you can see that encroaches on the S. If you feel the shadow is a bit intense, you can play with the opacity of the layer, which I have done. You can now appreciate the finished result. I hope that you have had some fun playing around with this. And as you can see, it's really easy to duplicate and apply the same sort of techniques to other animals. You can go and have some fun with this. A big thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it, then please subscribe to Design Cuts for more awesome tutorials. This was Rich Hines. See you on the next one.